A quick check of the calendar, you'll see that August is National Catfish Month, a species that in recent survey ranked only behind bass, panfish, and trout in popularity among U.S. anglers. It's also a fish that Brian Simmons, CEO of Owen & Williams Fish Farm, says is extremely versatile and crafty. Everybody's just impressed with the size of them. You know, they can range up to 25 or even 30 pounds in recreational farm ponds. You know, grow bigger than like that in the reservoirs and the rivers, but just about anybody, you know, can grow 115 to 20 pounds. And people are just always amazed by the big fish. First, they've been domesticated for a longer period of time than just about any other of your warm water fish. So they've been raised a little bit longer. Uh, we know a little bit more about the breeding habits, about the spawning habits, and how to raise them. Um, they just, it's, it's so much different than the scale fish, um, your bass and the brim. You know, their, their longevity is a little bit longer and they just, just seem to do so much better in these farm ponds. The farm in Hawkinsville, uh, there's 300 acres roughly of land. There's 38 ponds and about 50 acres of production as far as the water go. Um, we start just about all of our small fish up here and then move them to our larger grow out facility in Baker County. We normally raise or normally hatch two to three million catfish a year. Our normal recreation market is from 750,000 to a million fish just to go to backyard farm ponds. Uh, we raise a three to five inch fish and a five to seven inch fish. So nothing that we raise catfish wise is really big enough to eat. Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, uh, there was a processing plant that was planned to go in and around the Louisville area. And there was a big group of farmers up there. They had put in almost 500 acres of water. And, you know, they were going to grow a tremendous number of catfish. Normal stocking rates would be eight to 10,000 per acre. So, you know, if you figure 500 acres, that was a lot of catfish. Well, the processing plant just never really panned out. So some of those farmers have, have put the fields back into cotton and peanuts. Uh, so it's, it's still a big industry, just not quite as big without a processing plant as it could be. People love to eat them. It's a real mild, fleshy taste, but people also like when they stock them in the ponds. They like to go feed them in the mornings and in the afternoons. Their feeding activity on the surface is really good. The catfish get big in ponds. They're really good. They're efficient. Uh, they, they will feed on just about whatever's available, but if floating catfish feed is something there that they, they really kind of cheat, treat that as candy, uh, they can easily convert two pounds of fish feed into a pound of fish flesh. So they're, they're pretty efficient. Obviously people want to know, especially if they're going to go out and catch catfish, you've heard about bacon, you've heard of hot dogs, you've heard of everything. What is the preferential food for catfish and the best, best bait that you can use to catch catfish? Anything from worms to chicken livers. Again, catfish are omnivores. You know, they will eat pretty much whatever's available. Uh, whatever bait that you wouldn't mind eating if you catch enough fish and you have some left is what I'd recommend. <laughs> 